So he goes to the Blob Opera. Blob Opera, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, uh, with Palpatine. One of the best uh, on the way as he walks into the Blob Opera, did you notice mm. there's, a, there's a rather rotund blue man with a white beard? It's Baron Papanoida. Is it? A.K.A. <laughs> right. George Lucas. Oh, is it? Yeah. I have to look that back up again. Wonderful, Baron Papanoida. Baron Papanoida. Is it Papa because he's? Is it Papa because he's like the father of Star Wars, or Maybe. is it Anoida because he's annoyed at how everything's gone? Maybe. We should pause for a moment and just say that Ian McDermott, very good, isn't he? You'd be a very strange person indeed if you didn't know that I played Darth Sidious and also Palpatine. Although, of course, I never admitted it in public. He's excellent up to in a this point. Film, I, I think. must say, up there's to a, a couple point. of dodgy yeah. moments, but I think that when he's when he's in his element, like when he's playing. Mm. When he's basically, this seduction scene and every subsequent one, mm. he plays beautifully. Yeah. And he's got some great moments as like the, the messed up emperor as well. Yeah. But it's like it's like his film. I mean, my first big take of this is um, the seduction of Anakin to the dark side is excellent. The yeah. writing and the acting of it are great yeah. from Palpatine's side and terribly from Anakin's side. Yeah. And also, as you mentioned, when he goes full ham later, I'm not so keen. But when he's doing this... It is seduction, isn't it? What he's doing mm. here, the 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 way he's speaking, the way he's leaving little parcels and seeds. What's what he's talking mm. about? It's really mm. well done. But as you say, you cut to Anakin, and he's just going, uh, the, uh, what? He tells them they know where Grievous is, so that's great. And yep. then he says, you know what? I think the Jedi is trying to overthrow me. And Anakin mm. looks a bit pained, and he says, they they sent you to spy on me, haven't they? Mm. He goes, yeah. And then he goes, well, you know what? Did I ever tell you a story of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Mm. No, you never did. Ah, oh, well, he was a Sith Lord, right, who was so powerful and wise that he could use the Force to influence the midi-chlorians to create life. And everyone goes, boo! Mm. But then what he's basically saying is, that was your dad, isn't he? Oh, is he? Well, he now, we said be, this before, because... that, like... It's basically an immaculate conception. Yeah. Oh, that... so him saying that midichlorians can be manipulated. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I would say that's a really interesting theory, John, that mm. I think was not in the conception of this film. <laughs> I don't think so. But I think that's... Watching this scene again with the... You know, through the... Mm. A lot of time has passed. The end. But it feels to me like he's saying, right, so Darth Plagueis was your dad. Yep. I killed your dad. Yep. <laughs> uh, I am now sort of your dad. Mm. And... Not only that, I can tell you how we can save Padme. That's what he's yeah. telling him in this. That's the, that's the cliff notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, somewhere else. Well, the planet's <laughs> called Apata, Ap- Atapau, but I keep thinking Apatapau. of Judd Apatau. Obi Wan goes to this planet, and we meet Bruce Spence uh, with his big teeth thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he goes, "Oh, well, grieve," and then he says, "Secretly, Grievous is here. Mm. Help." If if you if you're uh, being held prisoner by a Sith Lord. Say um, big uh, rubber bumpers. Yeah. Like, oh, um, big rubber bumpers. Mm. Right. Okay. Got the uh, got the hint, and then the guy turns around, and uh, one of uh, Grievous's guards says, "Why did you just say big rubber bumpers <laughs> to that that guy?" No reason. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, these droids are thick as shit, so they wouldn't even mm. question it. Um, Yoda's on the Wookiee planet, watching another yes. baffling CGI battle with a right. double down on the Wookiees doing the Tarzan roar. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, George Lucas finally gets to have the full-size Wookiee battle he wanted to have in Return of the Jedi, yes, of course, yeah. but didn't have the money to sit at a full-tall people. you know what? It's incredibly dull. Yep, in a battle where we don't really know what the stakes are mm. and we don't care who wins. Obi-Wan then hides in the darkness as his ship takes off, the droid mm. takes off, and he then gets on a squeaky toy dragon. He does a big hooting lizard, uh, a stealth uh, screaming lizard. The last thing you'd want if you were sneaking around is just going, arr, arr, arr. Ooh, ooh. Uh, it's like, shh, shh, shh. Oh, oh, sorry. Ooh, ooh. No, just stop, completely stop Imagine doing it. Imagine if he got sorry, off sorry, the sorry. dragon and it, it turned out that when he'd stored his, like, he'd, he'd stored his staff, he'd accidentally put it up his ass. <laughs> no, that's where it's meant to go. Oh. It's sack. Oh, so that's, it's not supposed to make that noise. It's just because he's put a stick Hey, up. Obi-Wan, put your stuff up my ass. That would be a brilliant character in Adventure Time. It would. Yeah, exactly. That's the sort of thing they'd have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Put your stick up there. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, Ewan McGregor gets very camp in this film, mm. and I think he's just having a really nice time. I think he is. I think mm. Also, I think it's last day fever, you know? Yeah, yeah. Everyone's brought in board games. Yeah, because he just knows that he doesn't have to do this again. Although he yep. did. And then he does choose yeah. to do it again. Quite a while later, though, he's got time. It's like mm. when Daniel Craig said he wouldn't do another Bond film after every single Bond film he did. Mm. And then eventually he was like, oh, I'll do another one. And then he was like, you know what? I really want to play a camp deep south detective. 
Yeah. And I love him for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. What a great choice what for someone trying choice. to show range. You and McGregor should have done the same thing. I think he did, didn't he? Didn't he do he Big Camp Deep South Detective? He, well, he played a, a Deep South man in Big Fish. Oh, that's right. He did. My yeah. God, we found the formula. Yeah. Yep. Um, so uh, Obi Wan fights Grievous as you mentioned earlier with these four lightsabers. It's it's the old uh, swinging your arms around in a circle and yeah. going. I'm just going to walk forward yeah. and I'll be swinging my arms like this, like uh, Bart Simpson does. Yes. And Elise is like, well, I'm just going to keep kicking like this. I'm just going to walk forward with my eyes shut. And and if you get hit, that's your fault. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, anyway, so oh. then, then there's the donut chase. No one yeah, will be donut, seated for the donut, donut chase. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Everyone pray silence uh, as we begin this year's donut chase. Uh, um, it's, it's very silly. Oh, I hate it. Very, very silly. So one character, we're at, we're at the sixth Star Wars film and the main villain yeah. is cycling away in a massive donut, yeah. being pursued by our hero riding a hooting lizard yeah. with a lightsaber up its bum. Yeah. Anakin goes to see Palpatine again and in the, in the process of their small conversation, Palpatine basically goes, yeah, I'm a Sith Lord. Yeah, and one of the few bits that like makes sense, mm. Anakin's immediate reaction is to feel betrayed, mm. draw his lightsaber mm. and go, right, I'm taking you in. It makes sense. It's like his whole mission has been to like find the secret Sith Lord and kill him. And you know what? He did it incredibly quickly with zero effort. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's just a shame it takes place in an incredibly flatly lit travelodge room. Yeah. Rather than somewhere cool like a carbonite chamber or a, you know over a massive drop or something. It's kind of it's the thing... It's all Ikea showroom vibes. That's the tra- You don't want that in, in sci-fi action. No, it's like what Neil Breen does now. Right, but yeah. But with more yeah. money. Digital tribes um <clears throat> obi-wan then gets the better of grievous and we get my he's got a bare knuckle box him, a robot i, lo- I like mm. the bit where he has to use a blaster on him and he says uncivilized so uncivilized yeah and they leave grievous's body just there yeah that's it yeah so he comes back later and it's still there so anakin goes to see uh mace windu and goes you know what palpatine's a sith lord and mace windu goes are you sure well, of course I fucking am. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> and, and so and, Mace uh, goes, oh, I'm going to go and get him. And he says, I'll come with you. And he goes, no, yeah. I'm going to take squid, squid Head Man. I'm taking Kit Fisto, Kit my Fisto. best friend. <laughs> my best mate. You never mentioned him. Absolute best friend. He's my best mate in the world. I love Kit him Fisto. so much. He punches Kit Fisto on the arm playfully. And Kit Fisto goes, careful, yeah, just... it's my yeah. birthday today. But remember, we're going out for my birthday drinks later with my wife who's expecting my child. That's right, yeah. And I'm very excited for a rest because I retire next week. That's right, yeah. Um, anyway, Kit, come on. Let's stop mucking about like we always like do. Let's, let's go and kill that Chancellor. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Uh, so they go and see um, Palpatine and it's ridiculous. He does a, a corkscrew dive at them <laughs> so for bad. no reason, to no tactical advantage. You killed Kit Fisto, my best friend. Kit Fisto. Fisto's just a nickname. His name's Kit Peters. <laughs> We met at high school. Shut up. Shut up. Um, so then they, uh, Windu gets the better of him and um, mm. starts throwing lightning at him, saying, uh, I am now very evil and I will talk like this. Like this. I don't understand what happens here because Anakin turns up to witness this and mm. um, Palpatine's face starts melting and his eyes go yellow. Yeah, I think it's because he's Mace Windu is resisting this lightning, which is sort of sending it back at him. Right. But that does make you go, the Emperor could just stop doing it. Yeah. Yeah, don't and get then it. wouldn't melt his own face. I, I feel like Lucas has gone, well, in Return of the Jedi, he's got a big wrinkly face. And I'm like, yeah, but it's like 30 years later, George. Just, yeah. And also, he's old like, already. I so. much prefer the idea that he'd been gradually being rotted by evil mm. over time, not just that like he stuck a fork in an electrical it's socket so and melted stupid. a bit yeah, one yeah. day, yeah. There's also quite an obvious, I think, script error here where mm. Mace Windu says, you have lost. Yes. And then Palpatine says, no, you will die. No, it I'm should not. have been, you have lost. No, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> what? And then that moment of confusion, confusion is what he uses to get him out the window. You have lost. 
Too bad you will die. Also, the obsession with every time someone drops a lightsaber, we have to see it dropping. My God, yeah. It's so annoying. You, once you notice it, you can't stop noticing it. I found his spoon, sir. Well done, Sergeant. Guys, this happens so much. Mm. Just get like a strap, like a Wiimote. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. And then also you won't throw it through your telly either, your lightsaber. <laughs> so then um, Anakin goes, oh, well, in that case, he gets down on one knee and he goes, I pledge myself to you. Will you marry me? Yeah. <laughs> Darling. Talbotine says, in that case, I knight you as Darth. And, um, and he looks around the room and he sees... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he sees his copy of V. Yeah. And then Aid Edmondson walks past the window. <laughs> Who's the Aid? Aid Edmondson is in The Last Jedi, so that's canon. He is, of course, yeah. yeah. That's his character yeah. from 50 years later. Yeah. I don't believe that this Anakin, who, as far as we know, literally just wants to save his wife from dying, yeah. would... Well, for example, I don't believe that he would hear Palpatine say, the space Nazis are going to rule the entire galaxy and go, yeah, it sounds cool. Rather than, like, I don't know, take her to have an abortion. Especially, you know I mean? or yeah, anything especially else. as 20 minutes ago, he was yeah. having a go at Padme for suggesting that they're on the wrong side. How dare you? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So Palpatine then, who now talks like a goblin, issues yeah. Order 66. Order 66. Now, mm. Order 66 should have been the hardest thing to do in the history of the galaxy. Mm. Killing a Jedi should be really, really difficult. Yeah. Turns out it's not. Rather than just instantaneously like wiping them all out in seconds. Yeah. Yeah, and they're all just completely wiped out very easily. Apart from Except Yoda. Yoda yeah. Obviously, yeah. Uh, who cuts off more heads. So Yoda goes off in a big egg, and we have to make sure, yeah. because it's a prequel and we have to do this, he goes, yep. Thanks, Chewbacca. Yes, it was Chewbacca. Um, Great. Well, what is that? How has that made anything better? You see better? that smudge in the distance on the horizon? That's Jabba the Hutt. Yeah. Okay. Look. <laughs> That's nice. There's Sebulba. <laughs> He's just fallen over at a bus stop. Anakin goes home to check on Padme, and he tells yep. her that the Jedi have overthrown the Republic, or tried to. And he doesn't tell her that he's just murdered some kids. No, he misses that out. I think that would ruin the vibe. Mm. <laughs> He didn't feel that way about the yeah. Dan people, the yeah. kids. He was fine telling her. I was going to say, he didn't ruin the vibe last time. She loved him no. more, if anything. Yes, he seemed to really be into him. Yeah. <laughs> he goes to Mustafar, mm -hmm. where the separatist leaders have been uh, seconded. Yes. And um, R2-D2 goes with him. So technically, R2-D2 is an accessory to murder. Yeah, and I quite like the fact that one of the final points of his, you know, turn to evil is him killing the baddies that we met first mm. in Phantom Menace. Yeah. But what of the Techno Union Army? Well, exactly. Techno, 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 techno. Palpatine, then in the Senate, declares himself Emperor. Yeah, oh Christ. And yeah. says that we're going to have a galactic empire and yeah. says that the Jedis are traitors and they should be sought out yeah. for trying to overthrow. And then Padme says, yeah. This is how liberty dies with thunderous applause. And Jimmy Smith would go, Yeah, fuck, uh, enough with your fucking speeches. <laughs> we got to get out of here right yeah. now. Yeah. Why are you still here? Run yeah. away. You know what's happening. It feels like you took ages to think of that rather than just leaving. Obi so Obi-Wan's seeing that Anakin killed all the younglings. Yeah, he did it. He's murdered the younglings. And he says, I can't watch anymore. I can't watch anymore. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really tuned out by now. The I'm voice sorry. of the audience as ever, yeah. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Um, oh, well, Obi-Wan says to Yoda, don't make me face him. I can't. He's my best friend ever in the whole wide world. He's my, my brother. I love him so yeah. much. What a lovely, lovely man. We've had Yoda so much goes, great time together. Really? <laughs> So yeah, Obi-Wan goes sense. to see Padme and says, well, you know what? We didn't do nothing. Mm. Your bloody boyfriend, who I know about you two, by the way, and I know you're up the stick, right? Well, also, he says it like, Anakin's the father, isn't he? Mm. And it is a bit like, you think so? Because mm. uh, they just keep, seem to keep constantly sneaking off together and yeah. you know, going off on dirty weekends to Naboo. Yeah. So she goes to Mustafa to see... Anakin, and then she comes mm. out of the ship, and Anakin's like, oh, I was so worried about you. I'm glad you're all right. Mm. And then she goes, oh, well, you know, come with me. We'll run away or whatever. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. then as they're talking, um, Obi-Wan comes out of the ship. He snuck mm. aboard. Uh, yeah. Anyway, he strangles her with the Force. Yeah. And knocks her out. And then Obi-Wan and him have a dull lightsaber duel. Yeah, yeah. And again, in the build-up to this, they were like, it's the most complicated choreography you've ever seen. Yeah, and, and it's I, I, very boring. So boring. I'd rather it wasn't. I'd really rather it wasn't. 
Well, also, we know where this is all going because yeah. we know that Star Wars happens. Exactly. So literally all we've got to wonder about is like, okay, so what terms do they leave this battle on, like, both alive? Mm-hmm. And and actually, I think that obviously it's it's a bit odd to have this incredibly <laughs> exciting roller coaster ride of a lightsaber fight and then end with, like... Oh, he fell down and got a bit too close to some lava yeah. on a on a rocky bank, and that's yeah. the end. But it is really creepy and scary the yeah. way he sort of like crusts up and melts and goes on fire. We do have the best dialogue in the whole film, which is I'll read it to you verbatim. Okay, okay, yes, please. So Obi Wan says, "I have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you." And Anakin says, "I should have known the Jedi were plotting to take over." Obi Wan says, "Anakin, Chancellor Palpatine is evil," and Anakin says. From my point of view, the Jedi yep. are evil. It feels like a Japanese translation. <laughs> it does. So yeah, there's bad. a much more elegant way of saying from my point of view. From my point of uh, view, the Jedi are evil. Oddly coherent for an insane radical flying on a lava raft. Awesome, a power. We've also got a dual battle going on because you know Star Wars likes to have these dual battles. They love that, yeah. Okay. Ideally, three or four at the same time. Yeah, yeah, in this one you've got two with four characters we all know are fine because they're all in the trilogy that <coughs> follows next. So what's yep. the fucking point? Yep. Uh, agreed. Yeah. I did like when when Yoda first confronts Palpatine. There's those uh, super badass Imperial guards. Yeah, and he just like waves a hand, and they both just go down. Yeah, that's. And quite I liked. Fun. I remember liking that the first time, and I liked it again now. But again, it it's like. But you've already spent that penny because you've had two films where you had to like leaping about and slicing things up. Yeah. So you can't really you can't really play that move of just like, what what are you thinking about, John? I was just thinking they should introduce some jeopardy during the very bo- boring Yoda and Palpatine fight by yeah. having Dexter Jester come out with a tray really papaled high of jellies that he's got to deliver or he'll get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, calm down. I need to deliver this jelly. Oh, oh. oh no, guys. Oh. I'm going to lose my job. <laughs> but instead of all that, yeah. uh, Yoda loses... Climbs through an air vent to escape, gets in a car with Bail Organa, and then goes, yep. Well, I've got to go into exile. Yep, that's that, it. That was humiliating. I'm into exile, I must go. Mm. Humiliated I am. Humiliated I am. A twat I looked like. <laughs> the uh, Anakin Obi Wan fight, he says, I've got the high ground. Yeah, doesn't, I don't understand why that mm, it makes no. him tactically no. necessarily the winner. Especially as they have the force. Surely you should just yeah. like use the force to push Anak- um, Obi Wan over. Yeah, push him back. Yeah, and then get up the bank. But he yeah, decides to fine. show off and leap over him. It's sh- flash bastard um, leaps over and then Obi Wan slices his legs off. His legs and one of his arms. I think. Oh, does he? Yes, yeah. right. Uh, then at, while burning to death mm. in a big lava pool, he screams, "I hate you!" Yeah. <laughs> like he's in EastEnders. Like Orville. I, no, yeah. like, like Chuckles. <laughs> I hate that nook. I hate that nook. <laughs> Uh, I've got an alternative pitch for you, John. Oh, go on. Uh, rather than like clawing his way up the bank like mm. a sort of very angry beef bourguignon, yeah. Anakin <laughs> is quite relieved that he's dying in those last moments because he's so tortured by the awful things he's done. Mm. And he's realising, you know, oh, it was all worth it because Padme's going to be safe. Yeah. But um, but like I, I should be killed for all the things I've done. Yeah. Uh, thank God. And then when Palpatine piles his meat into the Vader suit, uh, it's against his will yeah. and basically he's like completely against his wishes and has to sort of program him to become this obedient servant which makes the uh, ending of Return of the Jedi more powerful yeah because yeah. he rebels finally yeah, yeah. No, so that I, was, again love it. thinking ahead no 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 really good instead mm. Padme loses the will to live and dies yeah she's got the medical condition known yeah. as she just can't be bothered yeah the, doc- the, 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 the robot doctor by the way I'd want a second opinion and then I'd say, give me a second opinion, and then the exact same robot doctor yeah. model turns up and says, yeah, same thing. I agree with him. <laughs> or or you should go, all right, you're fucking ugly. <laughs> Is that your medical diagnosis? Just have um, Pal- Palpatine murder her, make it look like a Jedi did it, to fuel Anakin's rage. Yeah, that would work. That would work, the Raj. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but she dies, and then they have a tribute to that Jerry Halliwell video with her funeral. Uh, of look course. at yeah. me, 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 me. Um, <laughs> they take him and put him in his suit which looks very painful this bit I like I mean not what yeah, happens like after bit. but I like when him being put no. in the suit I like the, the sound design of the mask yeah. closing and that whistling sound with the air you know, Anakin Skywalker has died yes. you know, and it's yeah. really nicely done it is nicely done but and then, then... <laughs> no! and then I've put here that uh, everyone says shall we put the babies in the bin <laughs> 
<laughs> and then Organa goes, no. <laughs> Make sure these kids are perfectly hidden. Okay. Mm. I did call one of them Skywalker. <laughs> I've given them to uh, Anakin's the people that were married to Anakin's mum. I've given them to some people that he's met yeah. before. Oh, and uh, did you change his name to like Luke Jones? No. Uh, uh, no, it's Skywalker, but now it's spelt with two R's at the end. Uh, Organa then orders that C-3PO's memory be wiped. Yeah, because cover that he, Because he yeah. walked on in him earlier having a wank. <laughs> I forgot when I'd written that down. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> uh, I watched this late last night. I just really, sorry. I forgot. <laughs> 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 <laughs>